This is only one part of fusion torch, where hydrogen fusion is conducted. Starting from the left side, the first part represents two electrodes, anode and cathode, which are, as presented, made of steel and longitudinally interconnected in the middle. Anode is much larger in diameter, and it is located on the lower part of the object. Cathode is smaller in diameter, especially at point where it is connected with anode. The second part on the picture is a ceramic layer which, at first, isolates anode at cathode in the housing made of steel, enables free flow of current, and then isolates the housing itself from high temperatures created during the process of melting cathode and hydrogen fusion. Red color on the ceramic part represents the place where hydrogen is pumped in, and it is the cavity between cathode and ceramic. The third object is intersection of device's housing, which is, as already mentioned, made of steel and prevents cracking of ceramic layer due to high pressure created during cathode melting and hydrogen fusion. The fourth object is intersection of the hydrogen fusion device, where is presented the way they are poured into the housing. The fifth object is outer look of hydrogen fusion device. Activating or ignition is very simple. Anode is connected to the power source of more than 20,000 amps. Anode is connected to the ground and current is passed through them. Simply said, short circuit is caused. As we can see on the object one, anode is wider in diameter and through output and it can easily pass current with the aforementioned amperage while cathode is much smaller in diameter, just a few millimeters at part where hydrogen is located and at the moment when current passes through, through instant melting of cathode happens. Because of cathode me melting and change of its physical state from solid to liquid, hydrogen changes meanwhile into gas, very high temperatures and pressure is created. At that point, degradation occurs at first and after that fusion of hydrogen atom and creating massive amount of energy, several, several times larger than input energy. The resulting energy is directed to the nozzle, iron pipe, and used in every possible purpose. By alternately igniting two or more devices, we can get constant energy flow.